So hello everyone, welcome to my live reaction and probably a short review of Tech on Titans uh, Season 2, first episode. I already read the manga, so I, I, I'm gonna watch this episode and we will see how excited I am to actually continue doing live reaction and so on of Tech on Titans. Because uh, I have to be fair to the manga actually, where it's going later on. Um, but we will, we will see, right? Maybe we should do reviews or so on um, with, this, with this anime. We will, we will see. I have to admit it's like it's a big anime, so you wanna wanna do it, right? Uh, but I do hope that this anime will be better than the manga, because the first season is way better in the anime than in the manga. One of the few animes that are much much better as a as an anime, so uh, much better. <laughs> so I have, I have hopes for it. So I did the live reaction earlier today on the actual intro, right, the opening of it, and which I felt had this really weird scene with Dylan. So we're gonna come into it soon again. I also quickly saw the ending earlier today, and the ending is like the biggest spoiling ever, pretty much. The ending is pretty much showing where the manga is now, something that's very, very weird. It looks very weird. But anyway, the end is supposed to be about the walls, I guess. Uh, yeah, so this is recap. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be like Boku no Hero Academia, where they just recap the whole uh, damn <laughs> the anime, yeah, they just, they just kept recapping forever. Uh, that, that just... I mean, in, in um, that anime is just recap, 10 minutes, right? This is so far only also recap, here we see the Armor Titan, see the Cluster Titan. Yeah, so serious recap. Um, I guess it's more fine though, with Second Titans. If you haven't read the manga or whatever you watched the anime, it's been like four years. <laughs> it's been like four years since the anime ended, so. Yeah, he's in the fight between Anne and, um, and Eden. Yeah, so still just uh, uh, recap. Here the fight is over. Okay, so this should be, this here should be the actual start, yeah. Here we see Anne, Annie, Anne, uh, locked in in that, uh, the hardening. Um, so this should be... Yes, yeah, so here everyone sees, of course, what we saw last. So let's go to the friend most recently. We see that it's a titan inside the wall. Uh, it's alive, the eyes moving there. Yeah, so here we see that thing. I can hold on priest guys, yeah. Pastor Nick. Oh yeah, so he's like you have to keep the sunlight away from the from the Titan, yeah. So here we go to the intro again. So I did that it's like I did like a 12, 11, 12 minutes annotation of the in, of the intro earlier. I could do it of ending. <laughs> the ending is just spoiling pretty much. Now the ending is I don't want to spoil too much here. Like don't watch don't watch the fucking ending. Don't watch I just saw that the first 10 seconds of the ending. Uh, after I did the intro, I was like, what the hell, this is just showing everything, but the manga is showing something, I, I don't know, you just don't watch the ending, because that's one of the most spoiling endings I've ever seen. And I have commented on that, where people and saw people so on, also about the, I think it's the second ending of the first season, that is showing you that Anne is the title or something like that, it's like, it's one of those endings which is very clear who is the, the title, I think. And some other parts that the air sides. Yeah, it's like um, it's kind of weird sometimes. My favorite of every spoiler intro is, is One Piece intro twelve. Um, Cast uh, something that's called Wind something. Uh, I love that intro start because in that intro, first it's some kind of random action for like one minute, it's like two half minute intro, right? and the second half for half minute, it's like every enemy is shown, like every like impel down, duh, 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 duh. they show everyone. It's like. All the bad guys like coming up in a row like dunk 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 dunk. <laughs> so it's like what the hell? Here we see that this diner sort of that's a command that I started watching most in my uh, in my annotation there. It looks super weird. But yeah, 
This is actually called the Beast Titan this episode. So I'm guessing we're gonna see the Beast Titan then? I thought we were gonna see him pretty much later. Uh, I didn't expect it to be this early, but I guess so, because he said the Beast Titan. Um, so that, that, that's gonna be really cool to see him in animation. I think everyone's hyped about the Beast Titan. You've seen him all trailers, only if you read the manga, it's like, what, what is Beast Titan here? So that would be really cool. Um, it does. Oh, yeah, see, you just did new recruits here. Can't remember his name. I think it's like something on M. Um, yeah, and he's kind of like. I don't know. Fling, whatever you call it. Uh, so, those are the, in the Royal Imperial Dependence, right? So, they have this unicorn mark, so they are living in. Like that's what you want to be, because that means you can live in the, the, the inner circle, right? Furthest inside, and so. But yeah, now discussing the tight inside the wall here. But yeah, I just remember, it's just so, so far I watched this anime, but Hordeus voice actor is really good. She has a very good voice actor. Um, isn't it the same person who don't like La La La, La La Gonzale, I think, in... Uh, um, in... Uh, School Rumble, right, and so on. And she also probably does. Let's do Shasta, maybe. I think she does the voice in. Uh, I think it's the same person does Shasta Morrison in the Fudosh series last year. I think so, this isn't her. It's like a very male, very manly female voice actor, right? I think it should be her. Or she's doing Sasha. <laughs> she's one of those things, things. Yeah, but Hodges are great voices. They did very good here, yeah. Just try to kill him here, right? If you don't tell him about the titans in the wall. Um, I have to say I'm trying to be as hyped as possible, but it's kind of hard to be hyped when I know what's going to happen, pretty much. I read the manga about this, maybe let's say a year ago, two years ago, something like that. Maybe more, but yeah. So I'm still remembering people exactly what's going to happen. Pretty much. <laughs> At least kind of the general concept, so it's kind of hard to be super hyped about this. I definitely did more hype than the book in here, so I was, yeah, I want to watch this. This is more like, mm. Oh yeah, this is nice. It's like, kill me, yeah, kill me now. I I'd rather die than tell you, yeah. He is definitely convicted. Uh, yeah, deliver me, oh lord, yeah, this is... Can't threaten that guy with, uh, <laughs> with murder. It's like, he's kill me now. I'd rather die than tell you. Pastor Nick. Yeah. He's excited for this. He's like, oh yeah! Titans! <laughs> He's super excited. He's like, yeah. Well, I like how ugly that patchwork is. Like, why didn't you just put some blankets? It's like this ugly colored. Random colored patchwork on the wall there. So now some guys telling me, yeah, it wasn't touched inside the wall rose. Okay, so now the enemies are going back a bit here. It's like, oh yeah, this should be. This is probably in the B side. It's gonna be yeah, yeah. This is gonna be nice. He's not meaning inside the walls or whatever, what are you talking about? His meaning types are probably inside the actual place, yeah, yeah, it's that's uh, a little confusing here, but yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Playing chess here. No, it's Sasha, yeah, she's Shasta. Sensu Mori uh, she's, she's Shasta and blah blah, so yeah, she's it's Shasta. I can hear it again now. Who's doing Hodgy then? I mean, it's hard now. I haven't watched the anime in so many years. I watched it once again, like two years ago, something like that. Uh, but it's been a few years, right? So it's hard. But yeah, Lala is, Lala is definitely Sasha. I can't remember her name right now. It's a very good voice as well. She's doing Sasha. She's very good at doing manly, tomboy kind of voices, right? But also there's Hodgy. So who is doing that voice? Because it's also very familiar to me, Hodgy's voice. Um, 
Hmm. But anyway, you see the the scouts here, right? The that they the scouts out here, just doing nothing. They kind of like dispatched here after the battle, I suppose. <laughs> Sasha is super energetic as always. Yeah, definitely turbos. Uh, you know, kiss me, kiss. Uh, uh, Kiss him, not, kiss him, not me, right? Yeah. That was called. Great anime, I'm sure that's it. Very good anyway. It's a guy with the, no, with the, the yeah, Mika, not the guy with the nose. <laughs> you can smell Titans on that. Like a smell, Titans coming. <laughs> it's this street, there's Titans everywhere! Yeah, so here we have Titans from the south. Yeah, the bridge was. Yeah, that one is so ugly. This is one of those things that I think the titles are just kind of like good and also not good, right? In one way, it's definitely cool, but sometimes you do kind of bit bored by. It. I don't know. It's like some of the titans uh, design, you know. I think it's like it probably broke up because it's a big thing this anime when it was new. But when you watch it these days, and I read another anime, I also have a big pet manga as I mentioned. Uh, the manga is much worse than the anime, and. Um, like there was the anime re the anime redid the manga much better than season one. Um, and when I do watch the titles, I, I kind of hate love it because one of them has this really big ugly face, right? The other one was kind of normalish. So the way it's, like the smiley titan looks, strike on titans, uh, he, yeah, he's very good at that. In the titan, it's like a hate love for it. Somewhat I really like it that this guy yeah, is the super ugly big face one, but in other way it looks really retarded. It's, it's hard to say. I mean, it's just like. It's very special, I think, right? Yeah, it's very like something of it is ins insanely ugly, but other times it looks pretty good. Hard to say though. I have to say, I haven't read this video a long time ago, but I was to say anyway, but they're probably gonna die now. <laughs> Not the kids, but like probably every old, old guys. That's a pro pro take titans. This guy that can smell titans, people are gonna die. You know, that's a pro take titans, which I never liked from the beginning of it. Uh, that you see, oh, here's a new characters, oh, they're gonna die. <laughs> because. No one ever survives in this damn anime, or manga, whatever. I can't even remember right now, so honestly it's gonna be quite... I'm so much surprised what's happening right now. But, I'm just gonna guess that the kids never dies. That the main character, the main character could they never die. But everyone else is all so damn expendable in the second sentence. And that's a big problem with it. Like, you're surprised if they don't die, <laughs> you know? There's no strategy here, how it's spreading up. Yeah, and it's Sasha's home region, I believe. Yeah, definitely the voice of Sensei Mori Shan in, uh, in uh, Kiss Him, Not Me. Absolutely the same voice actor. Yeah, it's Connie's home village. Where are they coming from? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I was distracted in this anime. <laughs> I was like, now, I, it's like, I can't even remember if he lives or not, but I'm guessing that the nose guy, Mitche, is gonna die because it's like, He's an older guy, and even if it should be more experienced and better fighters, they always die. <laughs> you see the, the, the wood is in the one, and they're like, oh, let's catch the right here, and everyone's just like slaughtered, like flies in that in that, in that woods. Yeah, and they always like slaughtered, right? And already all the corn I think. So it's picking up a little bit. Man, she will like it like too. <laughs> I won't even say that spoiler. I can't even remember. She's a pretty hot tomboy girl woman there. She will likely die too. It's like, oh, it's, it's a female, new female character. She will die, you know. <laughs> it's just like prediction without... It's like, yeah, they, they usually always die. The new guys. Oh, it's a deviant or something. Yeah, suddenly they started running. Yeah, suddenly they started running, yeah. Like really running to yeah, like really one of them is really sprinting even. I mean, some of them is running like crazy, but one of them is like sprinting. <laughs> so that's cool. It was actually sprinting, sprinting. Yeah, that, that is nice. Not to go have to face them. And they have no houses here, so it's much harder to fight here, of course, because they have no. Yeah, they have like no high ground, right? They have some trees. Yeah, only Captain Levy is better than him. 
But Levy is insanely much better than everyone else, so it doesn't say much. <laughs> it's like Captain Levy is like level thousand, right? That was level ten, so it's like yeah, only Captain Levy is better than him. It's like yeah, but <laughs> what's the difference between that? Yeah, he even said here, yeah, the female titan's crystal is close to the the world titan's crystal, yeah. And let's skip back now to the, I guess, to the main capital. Um, but that, that, um, uh, that, uh, it's called splash screen there, whatever you call it. Wait, so now there are kids again? Okay, this is weird. So they flash back back. Yeah, this I don't remember at all in the manga. This is probably new for the anime. They use flashback completely back to, like, when Eren and Mikasa are kids. There is mother is uh, alive and they're doing laundry. So this is jump back like 10 years now in the past something. Uh, this is weird. That's uh, probably some of the fights they usually had. Some kind of fights they had, I don't know, yeah. I can't remember if they had Mikasa's backstory in the anime or not. When she was a kid. I don't remember that. I don't know. And then suddenly they are, yeah. It's not one of those weird. Like Mikasa and Aaron's personality, like they're just be also weird. And they keep getting weird in mind as well. Like it never stopped being weird. It's like she loves him and he, I guess, he loves her back, but he never admits it. But they also have like this flashback here, you see that they are. Like siblings, but they're actually not re actual siblings, so it's okay if they may have sex. It's, it's, it's like, yeah, they're they also kind of weird, incestuous part of them, right? Because now he wakes up and she's knitting to him in his bed, and he's like, oh, my Mikasa kind of thing, right? And of course, she's like obsessed with him, but in, but in his flat review, you saw his mother is like, you have to protect Mikasa, you know, arguably, is that your sister kind of thing? So it's just like, ah, this was it's weird, like. Adoptive sister kind of thing going on here in the uh, thing like this. It reminds me a little of The Flash, the TV show The Flash. But it's also kind of weird that Iris is his sister, also. <laughs> for for Barry, right? And so it's like, yeah, I try, try to pork your sister all the time. It's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, this should be about. Yeah, I love his voice. His voice, is, oh, oh yeah, his voice is super familiar too, not me. Like super familiar. Captain Levy is super familiar, but I can't remember now because I haven't watched Adam so long. But who is he? Who is his voice? Because that that voice was so familiar. Wow, who is doing Levy? I must be. I have almost an older anime. I must have seen an older anime during these years, right? So several anime with him in the voice. That was super familiar. That was very, very familiar. <laughs> that title was like, mm, I love that title. <laughs> it's kind of like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's kind of weird, like, it's still the window. Like, yeah, you want to fight? <laughs> like, is it flirting? That looked so weird. Oh, yeah, no, I remember the scene. Okay, yeah, no, it comes back to me. No, it was coming back to me, actually, when I saw him uh, whistling there. No, no, I remember this. <gasps> here it is, here it is, here it is, the Beast Titan. It's like that guy is abnormal. Yeah, it's huge, so yeah. Here, yeah, this this, this scene I remember in the manga. This scene I remember. First time I read the Beast Titan, yeah, absolutely. This, I do, no, this is coming back to me. What's gonna happen here? And Mitch is like definitely abnormal. Yeah, that is true. He's definitely abnormal. So his horse is coming uh, running in here. And he grabs the horse, and he grabs the horse. Yeah. He went for the horse. Yeah, like that's like squishing out the blood of the horse. Yeah, and he's throwing the horse at him, yeah, in yeah, this scene. This scene, I so remember the horse from the manga, and he throws the horse at Mitchell, yeah. Then he gets grabbed by that really ugly, big face uh, titan, kiddie titan with huge face. And he starts eating him, and now he speaks, yeah, now he speaks, now he speaks. This titan is speaking now. 
telling him to stop here, to don't eat him. Yeah, and he looks at him, sits down here and talks to him. Yeah, and it's like angry now at the, at the Titan here because he doesn't. Yeah, and he crushes the the ugly Titan here because he didn't listen to him. Yeah, because he's thinking about the typical kind of weird uh, power where they disappeared. Yeah, the whole talked about the last season. It's like they exploded and all this weird. Mm, let's ask him about the weapon, about the, the gear they have, right? Yeah, I think some new ways to fight around. And <laughs> you can see the Titan now, it's like he's scared of our tree now. The Titan was like, oh, that Titan's hiding behind the tree now. Behind him. Being scared here of the Beast Titan. And he's like, yeah, certainly we speak the same language. <laughs> uh, perhaps you're too afraid. And he's like, yeah, I guess you know where we inside the nape, yeah. Yeah, and he just grabs the the mech of his body, right? Doesn't actually take him, he's like, they get that stuff. Yeah, so here's the beast titan. Hmm. Is he gonna attack him now? It's like, only when you, only when you stop fighting, you lose. So he just lost his gear here, so yeah. Uh, He's definitely committed here, but it feels like a really bad idea to attack the Beast Titan here without his gear. It's a little too committed here, it should be more like analyzing the enemy instead of just... Yeah, and intelligent Titans they can move now, yeah, so... And he's eaten. <laughs> you can't speak. Oh yeah, this part was great. This part was really good. Even, even though I knew it was going to happen, uh, pretty much. It's like a clever idea, yeah, like, looking at the, the gear there. Oh, that is ugly when he's like biting his face there. So now we have the ending here. I haven't watched the ending yet. Um, but yeah, you should watch the ending. Uh, if you're watching this, you should watch the ending. Well, that's a spoiler to have to say in that, but I mean, the ending is really weird here, because it shows this... <sighs> yeah, the ending is showing, like, the backstory of the titles. Having read the manga. This, this, this is a page from the manga, but, like, in, like, chapter 90 or something, where this is, like, chapter 30 or 40, right, the actual, for the anime, is that first page here is, like, chapter 80 plus something. So it's quite a new manga, yeah, like, 10 years from now in the anime. This or whatever is nothing to do with actual manga or whatever, I don't, I don't know. This is like some medieval fighting instead of... ...which are titans or something. Very scary, uh, kind of, yeah, very airy and scary and weird uh, ending, for sure. This bit of Berserker vibe for it, how it's drawn. This bit of yeah, the Berserker vibe, more than times usually, because of how the drawing is. Here we see the ocean, so that's like, yeah, the dream of Aaron to finally get to the ocean or whatever. And some uh, seagull and so on, yeah, it's like, yeah, the ocean. And then we see Titan spawning out of the ocean, I don't know really. And now we see some kind of goddess or something that they're all worshipping. Kind of similar to what you saw in the intro, the first page in there. So here the preview of next week. Yeah, Titan suddenly inside wall rolls. Yeah, the see the things we call this video probably. Huh, 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 yeah, Sasha. It's probably more Sasha focused here in the next episode. Huh? They could be good though. So, I mean, it's like. 
it's hard to say exactly, you know, you know what, right? What is going to happen about in the, in the anime? There's a lot of rumors saying that the anime is going to go from somewhere else. That's how I watch the next episode is called them. Uh, and like, you know, going to kind of Tokyo Gold route and the, the, the yeah, so I would like to see that. I would love to see it. It's kind of like Walking Dead. Like the Walking Dead, the comics and the TV series in the same. It all had the general same thing, but sometimes some people survive and should survive in the Western version. And that's actually pretty good, so you have to have... I actually kind of like that. It was a zombie series. So even if you read the comics, you can be like, oh, who's going to survive now? And you don't actually know. You kind of guess that, okay, the main character is not going to die. It's the biggest main character going to die, but other guys could die. So I would kind of like that if Tiger Titan went that route, with just suddenly some character that you, that maybe starts in the manga or what was it, right? Or some other things. Uh, obviously, Mitch died here, though. However, though, I would be surprised if you do that. Generally, one problem thing that I have in this episode as well is that you never fucking survive in this anime, right? You're, I really just like that the first season, and I don't like this season either. It's like, if you see a new character, and they're like, yeah, he's the second best of everyone. He's like an enormous good fighter. Oh, he died. <laughs> you know? And the only people ever survive in this anime, in general, are the kids like Eren and their friends. Like they're, they're, they're the same age, like Connie and Sasha are probably going to survive. Because they are the same age, it's kind of same group. Everyone else is so damn expendable, even if the old people should be better at what they're doing. Obviously, Eren has some powers, so he won't gonna die that easily. But the other guys, you know, they should, at least some of them should die. We have one of them, of course, get killed. Um, um, Mark or something like that. He, he, he dies. Because everyone else is pretty much like, you can't die of their age. But all the old people will die. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. It feels like even if they did some other route of changing deaths and, and survivability or whatever, they probably won't. Because even if they go like, oh, let's go and fight at City A instead of City B in the anime, it's like everyone died anyway. <laughs> it's like everyone died also. It's like everyone's gonna die regardless. <laughs> whatever, I don't know. It's always like that in this anime. Uh, but this episode, uh, pretty good. Also, so much recap, so that was nice. Uh, I really, I mean, I really love the scene with the Beast Titan, of course. The hype up for the Beast Titan, I was like... And I actually had to say that I was kind of like, oh, what's going to happen now? I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen in this scene. I was kind of like, eh. You know, because they've changed somewhat, some of the flashbacks. They've changed a little bit from the manga, right? Not very much, but a little, or all the pacing and so on. And I was like, oh, yeah, he's going to fight someone probably here, Mitch. I was like, oh, yeah. As soon as I saw the, the horse, I was like, oh, yeah, the whistle here. It's the horse scene. So that scene, I definitely remember from the manga. That's a great scene, very very good scene there, very cool scene. Of course, the whole beast type that he speaks to him is, is very like, oh shit, he can speak, and the first half I think they speak right, so it's a, uh, um, yeah, it's a big thing of course. And then of course you have the wall thing with them talking about yeah, his wall type to sort of walls or whatever, and also saying that oh it's the same material as the, um, as said anything there, the the wall thing said so, yeah, the splash screen and so on as well. That scene was super, super spoiling. Or not super spoiling, but that scene was very quick here. Um, but if you pause that thing and like really read everything, it was like very crazy. And the funny thing is, if you go back to the anime season one and read those, because they always have this kind of information screen right, in the half part of the episode. If you go back and read like, I think it's like episode three or something, like very, very early in the anime, and you read those information screen, and you can probably find them on Google or whatever, all of them. You, there's a lot of spoiling information, like sickly spoiling information there. Stuff that the anime didn't even cover. Stuff that I was like, okay, that is how Titan grows or something. And then you read the manga like 10 years later and then it's explained. So it's like, that is crazy. Those those black, white info screens, they are covering so much crazy stuff usually in this anime. That is just crazy. You just skip those things if I read the manga. Because I know last season, I mean, they had stuff that I didn't even know from reading the manga. I was like, because I watched all of them, right, because of the theory crafting and so on, a few years back. So I memorized them, kind of like, hey, that read the manga, and that was like, oh, that, that thing was playing or kind of like showcased in the black and white thing, like three years ago, or four years ago, and so on. So it's just crazy. In general, those things, that seems well, they pretty much explain the whole uh, wall thing. Or they explain, but it gives you a huge clue. So if, if you want to go back to the screen and understand how the wall works, yeah, that, that, go, go ahead, that is, maybe you've seen it, uh, if you looked at it, if you paused the video and looked at it, yeah, because that explains that pretty much, uh, pretty much very clearly, very weird to do that, I mean, it's one thing to do it, I think it's cool, but it's kind of like you do it too early, right, you do it too early, it, it, I don't know if it's like you should do it later, it's kind of weird, 
And the ending, you just the ending is so weird. First of all, it gives me a sort of berserk virus set. A lot of this kind of yeah, berserk because of how the drawing is, it's kind of more medieval, also the medieval feel to it more. Like that is sort of berserk. Um, but the problem with the ending isn't that I kind of liked it, but it was like it's just weird seeing it because the first screen of the ending, this is this is a mess. This is not a really spoiler, spoiler by sense, but it's like the first screen that is something that you will talk about in the manga or whatever in like I don't know chapter eighty five or something, right? And this anime here is it's like episode thirty, chapter thirty at most because. Uh, Attack on Titan chapters are much longer than a normal, uh, like One Piece or Boku no Hero or something, or Fairy Tale. Those are like 20 pages, where uh, Attack on like 60 or so. So it's like three chapters per, uh, per, you know, like per chapter, whatever you call it. And it's much more thicker chapters. It's just one monthly instead of one weekly in Attack on Titan. So every episode of Attack on Titan is pretty much covering just one chapter, maybe one and a half or so, because they are pretty fast chapters then. So, uh, this is episode 25, right? 26. That's, that's about maybe chapter 35 at best, then. Let's say 35, then, for my sake. I haven't checked out, but this is I'm guessing that. And that first page of the ending is probably chapter 80 plus or 85 or something. Then they explain that page or something like that. I think it's shown once earlier, maybe like chapter 50 or so. And they explain it like at 85 or something like that. And it's like, oh yeah. So seeing that, it's like, wow, that is the biggest, that is weird. Put that in there. And then the rest of, the rest of it is just like, whatever, nonsense, spoiler. No, 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 but like, the last scene actually is something I haven't never seen before, but it felt like it has to do with the first page. Some kind of goddess thing. I don't know if it felt like it's moved with that. And then other things is just uh, random uh, fight and so on. So that being said, though, when I watched that ending, I was like, I want to do a video now. We're gonna analyze that bit, that ending, and talking about how that first in the manga, because like, is this other scenes also part of the manga later on then? Because that's the info scenes they have that thing. It's very weird to see it ending. That feeling. Otherwise, this episode, I kind of felt that this is generally kind of problem with the in a way. Um, pretty good. I mean, I, I love the beats, I get them wrong. It wasn't a bad episode per se. Uh, we read some stuff and so on. But the Titan wall thing, really new. Uh, so they didn't say so much more, more there, except that, like, yeah, don't get no sunlight, I guess. That's an important part. And that the, the pastor is willing to die to don't tell Koji anything. Um, but, but the rest of that was kind of like whatever. You see the kids are kind of arguing some more love between Mikasa and Aaron a little. Uh, yeah, so it's like two major things, right? I mean, obviously, it's all a couple of major things, obviously. But it feels like they could have done it quicker. I, I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, the pacing wasn't that bad. I felt the pacing was a little slow, but not bad. This is like... The pacing was in speed, so if, if uh, 10 is good, like 10 is what you want to be, 10 or 10, like really good, like that's too high. It's like 8 is perfect, like it's high, it's high speed, but extremely high paced. Like 7 and 6 is too high paced, right, if you look at that anyway. So like 8 or 10, uh, that's what you want to be, like 7 and a half or 10. And this maybe was like a 7, or like 6 and a half, so it's like, see, that's the half. So it's like, it was not slow, but it was 5 is slower than, right, and, and less than 5 is really, really slow and horrible, like whatever, one piece of thing. And... This is like six and a half or something, I felt, right? So it's kind of like, mm, well, it couldn't be a little faster. Couldn't cover some parts a little bit more quicker there. I think you kind of skipped into a little more like, hey, this guy riding here, talking a little much, uh, and so on. You kind of into the meat, right? But it did end on a really, really good point, though. So even even in the manga, I really, really loved the last scene there with, with uh, the Beast Titan. Uh, absolutely loved it. Uh, and as I mentioned, I have forgotten about exactly the order of it because I haven't read this manga for years, right? Because this is old, right? The manga, this is very old. This is like seven chapters back, right? So I was like, I don't remember exactly, but as soon as I saw the voice thing, I was like, oh yeah, oh, it's, it's a horse scene. It's the horse scene. So I was like, yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was great. That was very, very good. And and of course, I, I like the whole Pastor, Pastor Nick thing. Uh, he's going to be, uh, I, think he has, I think he has more lives in the story. Like, he has somewhat important later on. Um, and then we see the preview, uh, it's going to be about... The preview is interesting because the next episode is going to be more about Sasha and Connie. And I know it's going to be about Connie, I believe. I thought it was going to be about Connie, I think, in the manga. But I don't think Sasha has a good... I don't think Sasha has anything to do with that. So that's going to be so-called, you know, in-canon filler kind of thing, right? Uh, that is like uh, probably actual story, but not actually in the manga. So I'm looking forward to that because Sasha, I believe, she didn't have much to do in the manga there. Except that thing was like, oh, I'm hungry, oh, I hear footsteps, because she's just like supernatural, a good fighter. 
so that that could be really interesting. So I'm looking forward to that. Really, actually, to see some. I kind of want to see fillers, right? Yeah, they're good titles. So uh, next it could be really good. But anyway, yeah. So subscribe. If you'd like to put a comment, especially when you feel about the ending, I would love to hear that. Especially if you read the manga, I don't have to spoil people that, but like just give a comment about that, very interesting. Uh, and just generally the episode uh, was something you spotted now that you have to read the manga and you know realize. One thing I can say is before I quit it, uh, that there was a really cool scene there when, see, uh, when the beast was like, uh, he was like crushing the, the ugly face titan. You could see the kind of weird... Uh, like, I don't know, energy, air or something, going up in the air, and that's something that Hoddy has mentioned in the anime, maybe in the manga, it's more an anime thing, where it kicks on the face, and they were like, and they also like disappeared, it's a kind of weird, smoky energy thing, so that was, that was a cool detail, which I haven't seen in the manga, which I'm pretty sure the manga didn't have, to be honest, but anyway, yeah, that, that was a good scene, that kind of em emphasizing that thing, um, so that's one thing when you read, when you watch the anime, that you can find some details, um, because the anime, right, so you can find some details, which you maybe haven't seen in the manga, or maybe it wasn't even in the manga at all, but now they have made it better, right? Because the last season anime, everything was in better detail and it's better improved. So you can see the anime and say, oh yeah, that's it. It's much more clear to me now because of this reason, or hmm, that happened. What can that be even in the manga, right? So that was interesting because that means something in the manga, I would say, that you kind of really saw the energy there disappearing. So that was very interesting. Yeah, so anyway, see you guys next week. Have a great day.